All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in full media part 27 measures of success. No pun intended or is there. In today's episode, we set out to make a spreadsheet listing the scale figures following up from the work we did in the last series and continue with our shadow standalone composition. And boy howdy did we do that. This is our glorious spreadsheet and it shows on the right hand side for example yesterday scale 6 and on here <laughs> it's so teeny tiny can barely read it. Um, maybe we should try to zoom in on it for a minute. This is saying for example that if you have a scale with six notes in it here right here if you have a scale of six notes there's two notes per hop and you're going to get uh, 10 notes then it's going to drop down to eight six and four and then boom you got to go to your next scale so if you remember we were counting these out by hand yesterday so the difference is today we put them on a, on a, a chart the same thing over here if we look at scale six and that matters to us because we're using the minor major shadow and common scales here how many notes do you get in the roll well you get 16 notes here then it jumps down to 15 and to 12 so then we were interested in if, again looking at a six note scale well so what well if you are working with figure one hop one roll one basically you're getting uh, what are you getting you're getting one and a half more roll notes per figure you're getting 50 percent more roll notes than you're getting hop notes and then if you move to the next figure you're going to get twice as many then one and a half as many or two and a half and then three and a half as many so if the, the red keeps showing that if you it's confusing you got to move figure one two three four as you move from the right to the left the figure number gets higher and you get more roll notes and and then the division of the number of roll notes per the hop notes kind of goes up for a while and then surprisingly it goes down and we were seeing that manually and in fact the bigger the scale like we have a uh, what do we have well, we're not using it in this composition, but we have we were using the nine note scale. And again, look at this. The the blue the blue is the number of notes. What is the blue? The blue is oh, I must have erased all that. No, oh, here the blue is the number of roll notes, and the red is the rolls per hop. So the blue goes up, and then it comes back down. It goes up, and then it comes back down. So we verify this for all the scales with notes from uh, three notes to 12 notes. Why did we do all that? Well, it was kind of fun and diverting. And we were also giving ourselves some uh, intuition about visual and pattern. And we mentioned again yesterday, we're, we're immersing ourselves in these scale figures to, to figure out what to do with them. So then we said, well, let's move forward. Let, let's try to compose something. And we had already discussed the idea in our triptych animation of having the minor scale on the left-hand side, the full scale in the middle, and the, mi the major scale on the right-hand side in our visual animation. And so we just went ahead and brute force copied the minor stuff over here and the full in the middle and the major at the end. So... What does that sound like? Well, let's play it for you. It's going to be, these are just all the scale figures and we're putting them on their own lines. My, uh, minors on the top line, commons in the middle, majors at the bottom. And then and the reason we're doing that is in the animation, we're gonna drive the left hand, the middle and the right. And in our next episode, we'll just actually plug this in there and see what it looks like. So we're just gonna play it for now.
And even just listening to that, we can hear that nice shift in feel at the at the part in the middle where we're on the middle line right here. That shift in um, I mean it's a blatant shift. I mean, who, who, why wouldn't it be a big shift? Ba -da -da -dum. And then you could almost imagine, mm, oh, well, let's kind of break up the minor and the major with more uh, common in the middle. So that is actually what we're planning to do in our next time. So ideas next time. Ideas next time. Continue with the trial animation. And I guess to be honest, we should record a nice result also that we um, completed a trial score to animate. So that concludes today's episode. Thank you for your continuing attention, time, and interest. Thank you for the new folks tuning in. Look forward to seeing you next time. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>